all right sagittarius so this is gonna be your weekly reading from december 4th to the 10th keep in mind this is a general reading so not all messages is going to resonate with you i'm going to be using the nightmare before christmas tarot deck and i'm going to be using the power of love oracle deck so with that being said let's just get your first card on your overall all right let's see what's going on oh what's going on for sagittarius what's the first card for the general energy the nine of cups okay guys let me tell you this so i had to redo this video because there was a lot of background noises and it was just one two three four um there was a lot of background noises and the nine of cups was your first card and i didn't get to pull out any cards and i just shuffled again and it's your overall energy again so like i said <laughs> like i said before your overall energy is the nine of cups which is emotional fulfillment i feel like you're going to be happy in some type of type of way if some of you guys had a decision to make i feel like you're gonna be happy with the decision that you made and also the mess that I was picking up was that someone was gonna give you a message or they're gonna ask you a question and that question was going to make you happy so i don't know if they're gonna ask you someone's gonna ask you out or it's just gonna make you emotionally fulfilled whatever they whatever they're doing we have the king of swords and we have the page of pentacles in reverse all right so we got the dealing with an aquarius or a taurus virgo capricorn what else do we have we have the eight of swords okay we have <laughs> there's a lot of mental there's a lot of mental stimulation going on we have the five of swords in reverse so we have a lot of air energy here so far with a page of pentacles with a page of yeah with a page of pentacles in reverse i feel like you may not be in communication with a person right now and i feel like that's leaving you to mix scenarios up in your head with this eight of swords and this king of swords it's like whatever questions you're not someone's not answering for you you're you're filling in the pieces with yourself with the five of swords in reverse that's also self-deception so you're making up you're making up things for yourself that's not real but with this nine of cups energy i do see you coming into the placement of you like you know what no matter what this person does no matter where i am no matter who i'm with no matter what i'm doing i'm fine this has nothing to do with me with this king of swords i feel like someone also is logically planning how to come towards you i feel like you may not be in communication with them and they're planning how to come towards you so let's see why is this nine of cups here Can I please have a card? Oh, and happy birthday, Sagittarius. Oh, two freaking cards came out. I have the three of wands, and we got to deal with the Aries. And then I have the seven of swords, and we have the ace of wands in reverse by the page of pentacles in reverse. And we have the full card, which is your, not your energy. Um, Aries, ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, listen, I feel like you're going to be letting this person go. We had the Wheel of Fortune that just flew out. I feel like you're going to be letting this person go and releasing this person because this person really was, could have been deceptive, especially if you're dealing with the air sign. We had the King of Needles clarified by the Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like this person could have been very deceptive. I feel like you could have been more on the emotional side and they could have been more on the logical side. But I do see a good opportunity heading towards you very soon. I feel like it's an opportunity that you've been waiting on. With this Ace of Wands and Reverse and Page of Pentacles, I feel like this person's blessings is draining out the more you're not speaking to them. I feel like the roles are going to be reversed. Like, I feel like the... This person wasn't really stressed about the connection and the deception that they did. And I feel like you were in your head about it. But moreover, by the end of the week, I see you becoming less stressed and more happy about yourself. And I see this person in the Eight of Swords mode, which is someone that is overthinking about a situation. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, things are gonna, things are going to start changing. Things are gonna be starting to change, and I feel like things are gonna be flipped in reverse here. Yeah, Three of Swords. There was some type of deception that this person caused, and I feel like this person thought they were gonna get away with it. They could have been dealing with someone else with the Three of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Because this person never felt an emotional attachment or, you know what I'm saying? This person was very, like I said, this person was very logically, like, invested and you were very emotionally invested. Alright, let me get the outcome for Sagittarius. And something about a mother, maybe a mother was involved. I don't know if it's a baby mother or somebody's mother. Alright. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? Give me four cards. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have Sagittarius energy, double Sagittarius energy. We have the Hermit in reverse. Virgo. 
and we have the ace of pentacles in reverse if i'm gonna deck we have the death card i feel like you're laying this to rest yeah i feel like you're laying this to rest i feel like you're only focused on the new things and what the future has to hold for you i don't really feel like you're focused on anything else but that and i feel like it took you a while to get to that mind state and this person is going through and feeling whatever you felt in the past with so this ace of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles reverse also someone could be going through financial loss you could be going through financial loss at the moment where they are Either way, with this Hermit in reverse, I feel like you're going to be getting out of your head because the beginning you were, and I feel like you are finding emotional fulfillment by yourself. With the Nine of Wands and the Knights of Wands, with the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Wands in reverse, I don't see any action in this connection being, like, moved. I feel like someone could be posting on social media and the other person seeing, but other than that, it's like this person... This person secretly wants to come towards you, but they're too egotistical to yeah they rather let this die than work on it and that just shows because their ego it just messes with their ego and that just shows everything about them so let's just see let's just pull some oracle cards for you overall i do see you in this happy independent emotionally independent energy for this week all right can i get three cards for sagittarius We have forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. And I feel like that's what you have been working on. I feel like you're releasing whatever this person did or caused you. We have individuality. You leave your unique stamp on loving, on love, on everything you do. And that's what I'm saying, Sagittarius. It's like there's energy with a nine of cups. It's like I in self-love. You guys are coming into self-love. Like you guys are understanding the situation has nothing to do with you. And you're stressed out about someone who has a lot of issues and a lot of mental... <laughs> mental turmoil we have forgiveness so i feel like you forgave this person but you didn't forgive yourself for the situation which is why you were making it hard on yourself i feel like this situation is slowly dying out but it's for a good reason and i feel like you're just going to be moving forward and lastly we have priorities we have you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations yes yeah, Sagittarius you are a very loving person especially to this individual all right but I feel like this person wasn't prioritizing you and I feel like you started prioritizing yourself which is causing and I feel like before you were prioritizing this person but now you're prioritizing yourself and you're forgiving yourself and putting your energy in yourself and I feel like it's coming through that's why we have the will of fortune of three of wands there's a lot of good things coming in your near future we have harmony you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything so i do not see a connection coming in but i see a connection balancing out between you and yourself i feel like you guys are finally going to be figuring out yourself and what you want and i feel like you're going to be understanding that nothing is worth your peace worth your peace of mind and yeah so sagittarius that's what i have for you for your weekly reading um check everything down in the description below if you want a personal and all my social medias and i will see you guys next week